Okay, so today what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on the Porsche here and we're going to remove the engine cover and we're gonna check the air filter. Just kind of check everything and see what's going on back here. We never had the engine cover out. I'm almost afraid to take it out. Um, on the updates on the exhaust, on the oxygen sensor cheat, I did get one other time um, the air code. These cars are real sensitive. Like ordinarily any other car, like all the BMW guys, that'll work, no problem, right? As long as you drill it out. But remember when I put the headers on this car, we had the one that was like a 90 degree instead of a straight spacer. Well, this side has that. I put that on this side. It doesn't have any problems. So this car is so sensitive, you might have to put one of those on the other side, but it only throws a code every once in a great while, right? So it's 95% there. So we will look into that. Let's go ahead and I guess get some tools and let's get this hatch open and get it done. Okay, so this piece of carpet is kind of faded and I really thought about doing the clear engine cover, but I'm gonna be the adult in this relationship <laughs> and we're gonna wait um, because there might be another car coming. So I don't wanna spend $700 on this car to sell. We're not gonna sell this car, I'm just saying. We might have to direct all the money towards there. Now, the fortunate part about it, and I'll, I gotta say something about everything that's been going on in today's world with the election and a lot of crap. And if I, I'll do this as I'm doing it. See if a window tool will do it. Pretty much if I say anything or do anything, yeah, that's not gonna do crap. Everybody gets pissed off at me and they yell at me and say, you're just a BMW guy, you better stick to that. If I voice my opinion about, you know, higher taxes or anything like that. Had that problem yesterday, right? So it's like, well, I don't like, I'm not wanna be bold around, right? And that's what's been going on. So, um, my opinion, my experience of it is, there you go. Back in 2015, when I started YouTube, CPM, which is how much we get paid per thousand, that's cost per mile, cost per thousand views, was $7. Across the board in 2015, seven eight dollars that was like the maximum right the stock market was not doing well all this based off the stock market how much advertisers want to spend on ads also their stuff the stock market wasn't doing well because certain laws that get passed certain things that are done and so forth um depending on who's president depends on who runs the house and senate on on and on uh, what is that? A T 30 ish. Anyhow. So I do know for a fact, usually it doesn't really matter who it is when a Democrat president's in all that stuff's kind of in the gutter, right? So wake up this morning, it's Sunday morning. Actually yesterday this happened. CPM's down $2 per thousand views. Um, so just to give you a, a judgment, where the hell is, there it is. Uh, CPM this past week in the last four years has been growing. It started out $19. I would say my average CPM right now is around 30 to $33. This morning it was 27. And now all the trends are going down. So, when somebody on Facebook or whoever says, oh shit, says, uh, keep your opinions to yourself, all this blah, 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 right? Well, that directly affects me. That was the right one. Directly affects me, directly affects the channel, everything we're doing. So it doesn't affect them because they work a job or they don't work, I don't know what it is. They get paid no matter what, right? But whenever you're on a business, um, you don't get paid no matter what. You get paid depending on what you do, right? And that's where we're at with that. Got a little bit of oil or some kind of gravy back there. So I'm bracing 
every YouTuber right now that has a half a brain is bracing for a massive downturn in revenue. And that's really sad. You know, uh, I really thought we would go four more years without having any problem, which it might yet. It's not, it's not a hundred percent yet. I'll tell you that right now. And you know, guys like Dean that are all 110% Joe Biden, cause they just don't know anything, right? Most people don't know anything about how the world works at all. And that's my opinion of it. So I'm not, I'm not biased. Like if wouldn't it be directly affecting my pocketbook, I would barely care, right? But when he has somebody that eases the tax laws on you and was able to let me make really good money, and you can have somebody that's gonna raise all that back up, that also hits you double when to start with revenue is not there and when it is there, they got your hand or their hand in your pocket. Well, there's the engine. It's kind of dirty. Uh, let's grab a different light here and let's uh, pull that filter. And one of you guys is asking me about these lights actually. I'll take two seconds to explain it to you. These lights either plug in or you get batteries for them. And then you have a dial here to adjust if it's white or brown light and then turn it up and down for brightness. It worked out pretty good. The batteries last, you can run constantly for about six to eight hours, but they take a long time to charge, right? But that's usually enough. This one over here is plugged into the wall and they've done really well. They have umbrellas that come with them, but out here I don't use them because they're gonna get dirty and nasty and won't be able to do anything with it. So this has not been touched in a very long time. We get a Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws in here. Let's just do this. Go about everything the difficult way. Uh, number two, Phillips. So, I mean, that's my take on it. I mean, I don't, I rarely ever say anything when I do, everybody gets all in a, all in a hissy fit. But, you know, your feelings against directly my checkbook, my pocketbook, is what's going on here. And if it becomes hurting your feelings or whatever, ew. Ew. Man, nobody's ever touched that. I don't think there's any reason to take it all the way out at this point because we're gonna replace that, right? Ew. Real dirty. Real dirty. Let's grab the Makita light. We'll reassemble this. Let's grab the Makita light and let's look at everything we can see from up here. Make sure everything's hooked up right. Look at all the hoses. Look at everything. All right. Look at anything and everything. Check the coolant. Half empty and it has the wrong stuff in it. Well, I mean, how can you expect any less, right? That looks to be... I can't tell. It looks to be Chevy orange that's in it. One of the hell's a paper towels? Hold on. I think recording. We'll just do this. Now it's actually the pink stuff. You can't tell when it's, it looks just like as orange as orange could be, but it's actually pink. Um, we'll have to add a little bit to that. We probably ought to test this. Let me locate the tester. All right. Got this guy, this is a pretty decent one. So let's see if we get a reading on here on this antifreeze. Oh, you bitch. What we got there? We're just, we're about five degrees below zero. Let's squeeze all that crap out of there. Let's put this over here on the cart just for the time being so it doesn't get the workbench nasty. And I'm not sure, it's about, yeah, it's low. It's about four inches low. So 
uh, for no more than it needs. Probably put some water in it because it's still pretty good. Um, I don't have any pink here. Usually I do, but I don't. I need to get some because that the new Toyota has pink in it also. So let's put a little water in that and level that up. We'll check everything else. All right, so we put a coffee cup's worth in there. What we got here? Good. That's just a vent. Where does that go to? It goes right there. PCV is right on top. So let's just look at that real quick. Can we find a name brand on that PCV? I don't see a name brand on the PCV. So that's something to, something to be aware of too. I'll check all these hose clamps, make sure everything's, whoop. Whoop, here we go. It's just, it's gonna be one of those cars, guys. Every single thing's gotta be checked. <laughs> Almost. Oh, that's all good. Radiator hose is still the factory hose. Um, I don't really see much of anything else going on in here. Everything looks pretty decent. Check the rubber intake boot and make sure all that's all good. At least I have a problem with that or not. It's still nice and soft. Everything looks fine with that. Let me grab the screwdriver and make sure that's all tight. Okay, there's all that. That's all done. That looks fine. Power steering. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit low. That's hydraulic oil, so regular power steering. There's our belt. Probably not low enough on that power steering to mess with anything. The belt all looks good. He said he did the belt and the pulleys. My question would be at this point, was it done with the legit parts or what was it? But you can see on this car, we had the cover off in what? Literally 20 seconds. It took me longer to find the socket or the teeth, the Torx bit, then did actually take it off. Not very difficult at all. So there it is, a very simple, easy to work on little Porsche. A uh, little bit mighty, I would say. And got to drove, drive it pretty good yesterday. Uh, there were about an hour round trip. It did really good. It's a, if you know how to work the, trip, the Tiptronic, it is a very capable and very fast car. If you don't know how to work it, it's not right this car it's been shifting good it's just i don't know i've never driven a teptronic of this era i've driven 5 hp 19s they don't drive like this right this has a different valve body this is a transaxle version so it is a lot different even though it's the same number uh none of the parts are the same on it the filter is different everything's different then our bmw counterparts that we see in e39s and e46s so i'm not really sure what's what with it to be totally honest with you as far as what it should be doing but in automatic mode it still shifts weird um i noticed the more i drive it in manual mode it's getting a lot quicker on the shift and under heavy or wide open throttle it bangs right to the gears um with the buttons on the steering wheel like it should and you know we know since it did the cat delete every once in a while if it sits overnight you get a little puff of blue smoke when you first start it. I hear that's pretty normal. Uh, that's why I'm going to look at the PCV too and make sure we don't have a problem happening with that. Which I think before we put the cover back on, we'll try to go ahead and 100% verify that it is a legit PCV or oil separator, whatever you want to call it. 
Okay, so here's the one that came out of it. This is the one he gave me in the box. So this one is a factory one made in Germany. I can, I looked where the correlation of the writing is on this. Went back in there with a the little mirror, looked. That is a factory PCV valve on it, so that's really good. I don't know how long it's been on it, so it doesn't mean it's good, but um, if we continue to have any more, it's just like a tiny little puff of blue, then it hovers in here when I start it. It only does if it sets for more than a day or two, right? Let us overnight, it won't do it. Um, obviously, before the converter, it wouldn't do it before because the converters would catch it, right? That's why the converters are getting stopped up, and that's why it's causing all these issues. Uh, I do notice a lot more power coming back. I don't think deleting the converters and doing the catalyst headers gave it any more power than the factory. I just think it restored a lot of the power it lost over the years. And it seemed like the little bit of roughness idle it had after those are deleted, after when I ran it, all that kind of smoothed out and came back. So that's our video for today. Also, I'm going to go order some new legit spark plugs for this thing because I don't know what he has in it. And it does have a little bit of funky roughness on the cold start. And that very well could be it. So we're going to do that. That's all for today, guys. Just pretty much updates. Checking up on some maintenance. We got some stuff to order now. We'll see you very soon. Have a good day.